Hi, my name's Leo and I'm a boat builder and a sailor. A few years ago, I bought a very old and quite famous wooden sailing yacht for the price of $1. And since then, I've been rebuilding it from the keel up with the help of a lot of amazing people. Now, this is a little bit of a bonus video because uh, there was a video last week, but there wasn't too much boat building footage in it. So this video is about building the cap rails. Uh, those are the teak pieces which are wrap all the way around the outside uh, top edge of the boat on top of the bulwarks. Building these is a job I've been really keen to do myself, even though I've been pretty wrapped up in project management work, but I started a while ago, it's going well. The first thing that I did was cut out some templates that match the sizes of the pieces of teak that I have. Uh, and then I laid them on top of the bulwarks so I could figure out uh, where they fit best and how they fit together best. Then I cut a bunch of holes in those templates which would fit over the top of the tenons and the top of the staunchions. And that'll make more sense when you see it. So yeah, these are the patterns for the cap rails because the cap rails are gonna mortise over the tenons and the top of the staunchions here. I've just cut holes in the patterns. Each of these patterns is the exact size, uh, the corresponding piece of wood that's gonna go there. That helped me be able to get these in the right place, make sure there's enough overlap for all the scarf joints, make sure there's enough overlap on both edges to get a proper round over. Now I'm happy with the position. I'm just marking along the outside edge and then I'm just glue on some little bits of plywood up against the actual tenons here. When I take the pads off, that'll give me an exact shape and size of the mortises. So that can all be transferred onto the uh, actual pieces of teeth. Okay, so the templates are made, the teak is planed. Uh, I'm gonna talk more later about how I actually transfer the marks from the template onto the wood, but for now it's time to cut the shape into the first piece of cap rail. Okay, so now the shape is cut into that first piece and next is gonna be cutting the mortises in the underside. Now those are little slots which will allow the tenons on the staunchions on the boat uh, to fit up inside the cap rail and sort of lock it into place. Before I start that though, the crew and I have been invited to go out for a little sail with our friend Stanford. Now Stanford owns a beautiful Morecambe Bay prawna called Ziska. A Morecambe Bay prawna is a style of boat from a particular area of the UK. It's an old wooden boat, it's got a gaff cutter rig, uh, and it's actually got a connection to me because one of my old bosses and mentors, Ashley Butler, rebuilt this boat in the UK a long time ago and then sailed it single-handed from there to the Caribbean and then to the east coast of the United States where he built another boat and this boat got sold and eventually made its way over here. Stanford has recently done a lot more work on the boat, it's looking really nice, so we're excited to go for a little sail in the bay.
Okay, what's going on? Okay, uh, good question. So this is the second port cap rail. Yes, this pattern was taken from the top and I've got the line that I drew the batting is on the top, but I wanna mark this piece of wood on the bottom because the bottom is where I'm gonna need to know the positions of the tenons or the mortises actually to cut them out on the bottom of the cap rail. I just drilled a bunch of little holes along the line and then I'm gonna flip this over like this. So now I've got the all these holes showing through. Once I got this clamped up exactly where I want it, I'm just gonna drill through these again, just to mark the piece of teak underneath. Give us a quick little <coughs> rundown for choosing a show face on a teak slab like this. You know, when you're looking at any piece of wood, you're sort of looking for any defects in the grain, uh, knots, little rock pockets, or questionable uh, colors, coloring. This piece is actually really nice one. <laughs> this piece is actually really nice I can't, on, I can't give you a hand with lifting stuff. I've got a camera in my yeah, hand. I know, but... it's normally me. <laughs> um, this piece is actually really nice on both sides. So I'm just choosing the, um, the upwards face based on the natural sweep. So this wood, this piece has a little bit of bow in that direction. And so I'm going to have this face up because that is the same way that the shear is uh, is curving. Yep. Cool. All right. Well, chop away. All right. Get it. So the cap rails are coming along well, but now it's time for us to do a little bit of fairing. I need to fair the top edge of the bullet planks. I've done the majority of that, but there's just a little bit more fine tuning to do so that the cap rails can fit down snugly on the bullet planks and the staunchions. We've also got a lot of fairing to do on the outside of the bullet planks. So when those planks were put on, there wasn't any sanding done. So there's some hard lines or edges at the plank seams and the planks themselves are sort of flat surfaces. Now the guys are going to plane and sand those planks so that it's one nice, continuous, fair, smooth surface, ready for paint. And we're going to do that before the cap rails go down for good. Test out the um, load strength of the scaffolding. Isn't that right, Zeal? That is a way to do it. Do you think that that concrete slab is strong enough too? Let's hope so. You're actually doing something. Well, what are you doing, Leo? Uh, I'm working on the scarfs for the cap rail. After I've gone over the scarfs with the router and the jig, I just use a chisel to clean up the inside corners because the router being a round bit can't get on the inside square corners there.
So Zeal is now putting down pretty much the last of the cotton that's going to go into the deck, apart from a little bit in the cockpit, which we haven't actually planked yet. And uh, then this will get its TDS over the top of it, and uh, then we'll be able to actually fare the deck and sand it back. Isn't that right? That's right. Are you excited to be done hammering? I kind of like it, you know. I think everyone else is excited for you to be done yeah. hammering. <laughs> but you're doing a great job. Thanks. Looking good. The old finger between the varnish trick. Oh, yeah. Well, it's been a good week. The first few pieces of cap rail are fitted onto the boat, and uh, now that I've got that process figured out, it's happening pretty quickly. So I'm uh, really excited to actually shape them. Eventually, there'll be a really nice rounded shape on the top and the sides. The guys did a great job fairing the bulwarks. Uh, that can be a pretty tedious job, especially using those long boards and sanding. Uh, we're gonna get some paint on those very soon, which will look nice. We wanted to do all that before the cap rails go down for good. Hope you all enjoyed this kind of bonus episode. I think in the next video, we're gonna sort of zoom out and take a bit of a wider look at a few different jobs. But it was fun for me to get some woodworking in and I'm really looking forward to getting those cap rails finished. For now though, thanks a lot for watching and a massive, massive thank you to everyone who has donated or otherwise supported this project. It does make a huge difference. It means we're able to keep on doing this work and I'm able to keep on making and editing these videos. So I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.